Hello, this is Carl from PCNinjaSquad.com and today we're going to learn about removing malware and uh, I have this simple program that uh, can scan and remove your malware. Uh, this includes spyware, adware, trojans, uh, certain viruses, uh, stuff like that. Now first things first, uh, you're going to use your uh, browser. So open up your browser, whatever it is, Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox. In my case, it's going to be Chrome, and we're going to go to Google.com. So go ahead and type that in, and type in MBAM under the search, and uh, you're going to see, oops, click the wrong thing here. We're going to see Malware Bytes, free anti-malware download. Um, I'm going to use the CNET download.com one. You could also get it from the original website. Uh, this one's just faster, so I use the CNET one. So we'll click there and we're going to click download. Now if you're using Chrome, you're going to see the download show up down here. So right now it's downloading. I'm just going to have it automatically open once it's done. So All right. So when you get the pop-up, go ahead and run the the uh, program. Select your language, in this case English, and click next. Accept the agreement if you do. Uh, you can read the agreement if you want. I'm not going to read the license, so click next next select the uh, default um, program where it's going to be installed I'm just going to use the default and this is going to be uh, if you want to create a start menu folder for it and that's going to go in here um, so if you don't want a bunch of stuff here you could go ahead and click don't create a start menu folder but me I don't care so I'm just going to click next I don't want the desktop shortcut, so I'm just going to uncheck that. Uh, I like to keep mine clear. It's up to you if you want it or not, or if you want to create a, a quick launch icon, that's going to go down here, and I don't like that either, so I'm not going to do that. So I click next and install. So here we got three options. Uh, to finish the setup, you could either finish with uh, the enable a of a free trial of malware bytes or not. Uh, now the free trial is only for if you want it to be like an antivirus where it's constantly on and guarding your computer. Meaning if malware were to you know be entering your computer um, this will automatically detect it as it does so. So uh, I don't use that because I stay away from those websites and I'm my own detector. Um, so if you want something that's kind of like a virus uh, or antivirus that's what you're going to enable but I think the free trial is only like 30 or 60 days anyway uh, unless you pay for it but anyways um, for the scanning tool is free so you're just this is what we're going to do is just to update and launch the scanning tool so finish I'm going to uh, go ahead and close Chrome here so I'm going to let this update All right, so there you go. The uh, database or the malware program has been successfully updated. So let's click OK, and it's going to launch the program now automatically. And now you have three uh, scanning options, and I would say leave this perform flash scan alone, the third one. Uh, this is more of like a techie thing, so if you don't know what it is or you don't know what you're doing, do not use this. Just uh, use full scan and quick scan. So since this is going to be your first time, you're going to do a full scan. Um, usually you do a full scan like once a week or once a month in my case I don't even I do full scan maybe like once every six months because I stay away from uh, you know anything suspicious on the internet so anyways uh, go ahead you can click scan now this can scan uh, you know you can select your hard drives that you want to scan in this case it's selecting my C drive and uh, my three external hard drives here now I'm not going to use this because I already know they're clean. So I'm going to use Quick Scan. Quick Scan is a lot quicker. Uh, quick Scan basically only is, uh, scans your C drive, your Windows, you know, the most common areas where viruses will be found. So I purposely already infected my hard drive and C drive with the Trojan off the internet that I found. So just to show you as an example and there you go I found it now I'm gonna click abort scan you shouldn't do this of course but I'm gonna click abort scan since this is a tutorial and I'm trying to keep it brief so usually when you're done scanning you'll find or you'll see how many objects have been found and you get to click show results and this will show you a list of things that's found 
that's suspicious or is known to be a harmful threat. So, all right, in this case, is this shows you the location, C Drive, FL Studio, blah, blah, blah. And basically, that's here right now, um, FL Studio. This is the thing I uh, purposely infected my computer with. Now, this is actually a safe pro or a, a safe Trojan that I know of, all right? Not all Trojans are bad. Some things are just considered as Trojans is because of the activity they do. In this case, to let you better understand it, uh, this is actually a crack that um, changes your registry, and that's how you get to use this FL Studio program for free. I don't use it. I'm just using it as an example. But that's why it's considered a Trojan is because it alters your system files. All right, so this is automatically going to get detected, of course. Now, if you know that you have a file that's showing up on this list that is not... Uh, a harmful threat for sure then you you don't have to check mark it you don't have to remove it now a lot of people have like about you know like 5,000 items or whatever they f find on the computer I've seen my clients have like about 50,000 items found that are infections on their computer now if you don't want to click check mark on each individual item you could go ahead and right click any of these items and then click check all items and it'll check it all for you and then you click remove selected Bam. And then this will show you a detailed uh, text document of like where it is and if it was successfully removed or not. Now after you close that log, it's going to ask you to restart. Now most of the times you will want to restart. Um, if you're an average user, you don't know much about this, you, will re you should restart because most of the times you need to restart to complete the process. If you don't restart right away, the virus can actually or whatever infection it is can reinfect your computer and you just did everything for nothing so in my case I know about this and it's not going to so I'm gonna click no and there you are that is the malware removal and uh, just tune in next time and I'll teach you how to remove root kits uh, it's a more advanced virus of course or anything else so if you have any questions go to my website pcninjasquad.com I'll be happy to um, answer any questions just give me an email alright have a nice day